Clinton tonight with more on what voters can expect on election night. A new report shows Georgia could be at risk for violence by armed militia groups when the election ends. WJCL's Jackson Kurtz is live in Savannah now with more on this. Jackson. Well, Shannon, the report says that Georgia is one of five states with the highest risk of seeing increased militia activity leading up to and following the election. A report by the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project and Militia Watch says Georgia could possibly see violence around Election Day. We are concerned and paying a lot of attention to what's happening in Georgia. The report tracked the activities of more than 80 militias across the U.S., the vast majority of which are right-winged armed groups. It says many of these militias have been extremely active this summer, at times becoming violent. We have active militias in Georgia, from the three percenters to the NFAC to the American Patriots USA. The report went on to say that many of these militia groups train for combat, but they aren't the only thing that worries the Anti-Defamation League. What we are worried about is that when protesters show up on either side of the aisle, uh, counter protesters generally follow suit. This confrontation is, I think, where the real concern is. The ADL is mostly concerned about violence happening after Election Day and leading up to the presidential inauguration. People should show up to the polls. They shouldn't feel intimidated. We're not expecting much to happen on Election Day itself. And, and people should vote and people should have their voice heard. And Savannah Police Chief Roy Minter told us earlier this week he's been meeting with officials from across the state to make sure they have a plan in place just in case anything were to go wrong. In Savannah tonight, Jackson Kurtz, WJCL 22 News. And that report also listed Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Oregon as the other states with the highest risk of seeing increased militia activity leading up to and following the election.